اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لصدری ویسر لعملی وحل العوتتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی Today we have this, what are the <clears throat> seven things you must do as a Muslim? As a Muslim, you must try to do these seven things. What are those seven things? The answer is in the book, uh, this book, Sunan Nisai, Hadith number 3809. What is the answer here? The Messenger of Allah commanded us to do seven things. First thing is, to attend the funerals. First thing is ittiba il janais, which you need to follow the funerals. Basically, from the beginning of the process until the disease is put in the grave, you try to uh, remain with it for the whole process. From taking the dead body from the house until the grave, this whole process we are commanded to follow it, remain with it. Then what is the second thing? Visit the sick. So whenever you hear that someone is sick, whether it is your friend, colleague or relative, even if you don't like that person, still try to uh, pay them a uh, sick visit. And it will be uh, great if you Take something for them as a gift and make sure that you don't become a burden for them. Just stay there for a, a short while and then return. If you stay there for a long time, then the family will have to treat you like a guest and in their, they have already a sick person in their house. So don't become an extra burden for them. Just give them a short and quick visit. Then the next thing is to reply, Ya Rahmakullah, may Allah have mercy on you to one who sneezes. So whenever anyone sneezes in front of you and that person say Alhamdulillah, you need to reply, Ya Rahmakullah, which means may Allah have mercy upon you. And then the next thing is to accept invitation. Whenever anyone give you an invitation, even if you don't like that person, try to accept their invitation. Then the next thing is people find it a little difficult, but we are commanded to, we are being commanded to do this thing. What is that thing? To support the oppressed. Whenever you see oppression, it is your duty to try to stop it with your hand with the power of your hand if you don't have that power then with the power of your tongue if you don't have the power of tongue then you must consider it bad in your heart so you need to support the oppress in your daily life whenever you see oppression is people these days say that well it is not uh, it is their personal matter we are not uh, supposed to do anything here. but now you need to help them. Whenever you see someone is oppressed, you need to help them. Even on international level, we see there are most, many Muslim countries, but they don't support the people of uh, Palestine. They also don't support the Kashmiri people. And they are constantly being oppressed. But they said, we have nothing to do. This is an international crisis and stuff like this. But being a Muslim, it is our duty it is our obligation to support the oppressed. Then to fulfill the oaths. Ibrar al Qasam. Whenever you make any oath, you need to fulfill it. This is also a command for you. But here is one more thing you will study in the next days that inshallah you will study. That when we make an oath and later we find something which is better than it, then we break this oath and make. Uh, pay an expiation pay some donation pay some charity for it and we do what is better but that is a different thing we will study it in detail inshallah <clears throat> so at the moment just remember one thing whenever you make any oath you need to fulfill the oath 
then the last thing is to return the greetings of salam whenever anyone say to you as salam you need to reply with him and reply to him or her wa alaikum salam even if you don't like that person so these are the seven things uh, six things are easy but this thing support the oppressed people find it difficult to do these days but you need to remember you need to support the oppress whether you are it is on your local level or whether it is on the international level you need to support the oppressed may allah protect all of us rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim see you all next time inshallah ma salama